you guys. Thanks for joining me for this workshop, online workshop. I know everyone is busy, so I wanted to do this um, for such a long time and now I am finally doing it. So you would have received your samples in the mail um, at, along with your nature solution guide and a few goodies from me. So just um, sit back, grab a coffee or a tea or something like that and just really delve into this. See if you can get a space where you can listen to this, um, you know, all the way through so that you can actually get the most out of what you're learning. So my initial journey into essential oils was one exactly the same as what probably some of you have. Like I had no idea about essential oils. I thought they were just a smell. Um, I didn't have any idea that they had so many uses and were, you know, so powerful and mother nature at its finest. So. Don't worry, I was where you were four years ago and I had some beautiful, powerful experiences with the oils in regards to um, our sleep. I also saw the power and the magic of these essential oils with um, you know, my husband and his hay fever. So yeah, I, I was where you were. I didn't know anything about essential oils. I was pretty skeptical, so. Um, but now I just think it's such an important message to, you know, reduce our toxic load and get rid of the chemicals in our house. And, and you can really do that with these essential oils. You can um, replace your, um, your personal care. You can replace all of your cleaning products and you can replace your, and you can create a natural medicine cabinet, um, which I really, really love about them. So um, if you have a look at your nature solutions, um, guide basically what we'll do is we'll go through that front page that's just what an essential oil is it's really important to kind of understand that and, and see the beauty of them um, and then the second page is there's a beautiful um, like picture of all the products that you can get because they're not just essential oils they're a low tox product company as well we're going to go through some of these essential oils here um, I would love you, you to fill out this uh, grid up the top here so that we can actually address some of those things when I follow when I check in on you uh, in a week or so um, these are some of the kits that you can get and uh, then we go through um, some of the ways that you can actually uh, use these essential oils so you can use them in your life you can share them with others if you um, like me, you just get some beautiful experiences and you want your family to experience the benefits of them as well. Like we all know someone that needs help with, say, hay fever. Um, so a beautiful way of doing that is to sharing, sharing these essential oils with others. And then there's one that you can do like me. I, you know, I say that I have the best job in the world. I get to spread wellness um, across the world. So I am very grateful that I get to do this. And um, yeah, it's a, it's a beautiful way of meeting so many people and, and sharing the love. So, uh, and then we have the wish list. So this is the product guide and the prices that you would be looking at would be in the um, bold, the wholesale prices so they're in the bold so that's 25% off that's what the beauty of is is um, opening an account is you just get wholesale prices they're the prices that I get them at as well uh, and then the back page is uh, what you fill out and then you send it to me when you open your account and start using the essential oils so what I love um, to talk about first is exactly what an essential oil is. So it's basically mother nature in a bottle. So you get your, get your wild orange, take a drop in your hand and then rub it together and then take a big deep breath. And then all the way out. And you just take three of those Really take your time. So what do you smell when you're smelling that? Is it 
Um, because what I smell is basically like I've literally just opened up an orange and I can smell that orange in the room. I love wild orange because it really gives us an understanding of actually what an essential oil is. So the wild orange essential oil is cold pressed from the rind of an orange. So that beautiful wild orange from the Dominican Republic, um, it's where it's native to, it's where it thrives the best. That's where doTERRA get their oils from. They don't just grow farms in America and Australia. They source the plants from where they thrive the best. So wild orange is actually cold pressed from the rind, rind of the orange. So the, the rind is actually protection of the plant, so the immune system of the plant. It protects it from bugs, it protects it from um, predators, it protects it from mold. So all of the constituents and all of the beautiful um, characteristics of that orange are situated within that rind. They cold press it and then they, um, they separate the water and the oil and that's what you get. So that's literally 75. Um, little or, little oranges in there, 75, which is amazing. So doTERRA, like I said, they get it for where the plants thrive the best. They also don't own any of their farms. They um, create these co-ops within all of these where these farmers are producing all of the um, products, the plants from, and they make co-ops and they have... Um, beautiful conversations they take out the middleman so a lot of these you know these farmers were actually getting ripped off by the middlemen that would take their product to into the city and they would just you know sell it on the black market and then three months later they might be paid for it doTERRA has created this system where as soon as that product comes in so say it's wintergreen, which is a beautiful plant in Nepal. These, these women have these big sacks on their back and they just collect it from the side of mountains. Like it's, it's, it's incredible to see. Um, as soon as they weigh what they've put in their bag, they get paid straight away. And that is unheard of. So doTERRA are just making waves in the industry for being such a transparent, conscious company. And they, they pay them on time, they pay them straight away. They put money back into the communities. They build schools, they build hospitals. Um, they also have um, a Healing Hands Foundation where they, they actually um, cover all of the admin costs and just the money that comes in from you as a consumer. So there's a couple of products um, that you can buy that sends 100% of that money straight to the Healing Hands Foundation. And that helps to, you know, they, they put money towards freeing children from sex slavery through Underground Railroad. They also teach women in parts of the world where they are seen as dirty if they have their cycle. So like all of this money is coming from, you know, us as consumers. So we're helping not only our families, but someone on the other side of the world, which is amazing. Um, so that is such a beautiful, you know, I feel very grateful that I get to partner with this company because it's really amazing. Um, so what doTERRA are trying to do is to bridge the gap between modern medicine and, um, and you know, the real Western medicine and bring it into the mainstream. So we all know that our health, even, you know, the smarter we get and the more research we do, the sicker our population is getting. It's, um, it's worrisome really, especially in the health space. And I think, you know, in, with my history, um, we're not really looking at root cause of chronic illness and chronic issues in our bodies. We're kind of just glossing over the surface and trying to, to um, treat symptoms rather than actually the root cause. And that's the, the basis of all of my training as an integrative health practitioner. So what I love about the essential oils, it's taking, um, taking the best of mother nature of plants and using it in, in our bodies to, you know, start to balance our body out and, and give us options outside of chemicals and medication. So um, that's what I love. These oils are 20, 
that sorry 50 to 70 times more powerful than um, the plant or the herb itself so if you want to grab peppermint grab peppermint take a, um, a small breath of the peppermint oh it's my favorite it smells so amazing so one drop of peppermint essential oil is the same as 28 cups of peppermint tea it's yeah it's next level so 28 cups of peppermint tea in one drop there's 250 drops in there so what we use what we use peppermint for is for um, it can help to reduce fever so what we can do with our children and with our um, ourselves is if we have a fever which is the body's way of trying to um, protect itself like we have that inbuilt immune system it's trying to protect itself so that fever goes up because it's trying to fight the infection what we can do is actually really support that and use peppermint to actually um, harmonize with the body instead of just reaching straight for the panadol which has the side effects of you know gut imbalances and our and it affects our liver what peppermint does is allows you and empowers you to reach for nature first reach for nature first that's what i just i just think is so important what can we do in nature where our bodies actually understand what's going on where can we reach for that first and that's in food so in our diet um, but also in these plant medicines so peppermint is amazing for um, temperature but what you can also do is actually put a drop in your water um, and it, it can increase your vo2 max which means your ability to actually run faster jump higher and have a stronger grip strength there's, there was a study where two running groups had the exact same running program and one of them had a drop in their water every day for a month and they increased their, their athletic output by 25%. So a lot of athletes and um, triathletes and you know rugby players, you know the Brisbane Broncos are using peppermint oil to open up their airways and allow more oxygen in. So what I love is you don't have to use the all those chemical um, pre-workouts peppermint is amazing you can drop it under your tongue for a really strong um, like wake up so it's really energizing if you're tired um, you know, rub it on your chest to really you know give you a bit of a boost my parents um, travel up the east uh, west coast of Australia and they do a lot of caravanning so I've got them a diffuser for their car um, and they put peppermint in them to keep them awake my dad um, he just uses them because mum does and when he got up to um, we were in Broome no I don't know somewhere somewhere up north maybe Caratha um, he actually rang me and said like I didn't I didn't have to stop because I was gonna fall asleep like the, that peppermint was amazing so even for my dad to say something like that is is pretty cool so um, I love peppermint so many more things like ants hate it um, spiders hate it it's so good in chocolate um, and they're just some of the things so peppermint is um, yeah is a winner um, so so powerful 50, 50 to 70 times more powerful than the herb itself um, the other thing that I wanted to say is that, you know, 85% of essential oils on the market these days are, are actually adulterated, which means they're either full of fillers, they, they are produced synthetically, or they um, are a really low grade, um, you know, essential oil. So doTERRA actually have the most rigorous testing and, and that's been proven time and time again. We have, um, you know TGA approval pending in Australia and there is no other essential oil that can actually claim that they have TGA approval uh, it's only doTERRA so I just think that that's really really powerful and and a real um, indication that doTERRA are doing everything that they can to actually 
give us the best quality oil so they can impact more families, so they can actually support more farmers in third world countries and children in those communities around the world. Like it's, it's their, their whole mission is that um, support of families around the world. They are, they are privately owned. There's, there's no shareholders to um, answer to. So that's what I love is that they're a private company and um, they're just doing amazing things around the world. So the purity is so important because synthetic fragrance is the thing that affects our hormones and you know, one in six couples are having um, trouble falling pregnant. We also have, you know, the men's sperm counts have reduced by 50% in 50 years. It's just the state of our hormones is really, average and all of those synthetic chemicals in our environment and that synthetic smells are actually affecting our hormones quite significantly so um, even young girls are getting their cycles at eight years old now it's it's a bit sad so if we can control what's in our own home um, and what's on our bodies then we can really go a long way at helping our our health and thrive and, and our children's health like you can't you can't be toxic free it's just not it's actually not possible you walk down the street and there's the car fumes and they've sprayed roundup all over the park um, so you can't be toxic free but where you are the majority of the time is in your space in your home because that's where you sleep and if you can be as toxic free as possible in your home then you're gonna have a big impact on your children's lives and your own life um, so that is the first page. So we'll just go down to the bottom of that first page. So how to use doTERRA essential oil. So we already used it one way. We put it in our hand and breathed it in. So that was one way. Secondly, we have, um, we can diffuse. So same thing again, we can diffuse it. So we have a diffuser um, that you can get and it diffuses throughout the house. So those awful, synthetic smells that you can get to make your house smell nice um really awful for your your hormones um you know all the research on phthalates and parabens and slss and bpas like that's only just coming through now that they're saying that it's bad for us and but it's been in our circulation for 50 years so it's really interesting that now they're like oh sorry um we didn't test it on anyone at the start but now that we've got you know, all of these numbers for the last 50 years, oh, it's not very good for us. So, so much for us as guinea pigs um, and all of the people in in your life that are having trouble with their health. You know, it's a real, it's a real sadness that I have for us as the guinea pigs for that generation of um, chemicals and toxins after the war. However, we don't have to be worried. We don't have to be sad because we know better now and you can really impact your body positively from that. So diffusing, um, you can also use them topically. So I use, um, use them for perfumes. I also, if I have like mozzy bites, I put them on the mozzy bites and that is where we'll talk about lavender. So we all know lavender is amazing for sleep and stress. Um, but also it's amazing for your skin. So any irritation, any inflammation on your skin, then make sure that lavender is the first thing to go on there. Anytime I have a mozzie bite, um, just straight on there and it reduces the sting. I had a, um, one, of my, one of my good friends got bitten by an ant and literally, because we were all loving our doTERRA oils, everyone like grabbed their lavender out and um, and then put it on, like in literally within five minutes, that sting had gone and the irritate, and it was like low, it wasn't even a bump anymore. So yeah, lavender is amazing for that. Um, but the constituent in lavender actually helps to um, increase your melatonin. So that's why it's really supportive of your sleep. So we need melatonin to increase before we can go to sleep. So that's what, you know, lavender helps to really um, boost that at nighttime. Um, I, that was my first aha moment with these essential oils that they were more than just smells. Like I 
you know, we were in a very stressful situation. My husband and I were in a very toxic environment at work and we weren't sleeping. Um, we were just literally like closing our eyes and, and asleep. And unfortunately, um, we couldn't really get out of it because we owned the business. So we were given, funnily enough, we were given lavender by the person that was causing the toxicity. But anyway, um, lavender, actually we just diffused it because we were like, oh, you know, it's not gonna work, but we may as well try it because it smells nice. It smells amazing. It's so, so pure. Make sure you smell it. It's like incredible. And literally in the morning we woke up and we we're like, well, how did you sleep? because we both didn't wake up once, and um, which is unheard of. And we were both like, oh, it can't be. It can't be the lavender. It must be um, that we're just really tired. And um, then we've been using it ever since, and we sleep beautifully, and it helps our dogs sleep. So lavender for anything skin, lavender for anything um, sleep-related, stress-related, and... Yeah, I am. Okay, so now we, and the, so that's topically. So usually we use a coconut oil and doTERRA have a beautiful coconut oil that does not um, smell like coconut. So you can still get the beautiful fragrance of the essential oils. Um, so we usually um, dilute it and I will give you some information about that. So don't worry. Um, and the third way is you can use it as a food additive, which is so cool. Um, so we'll talk about lemon is incredible. Um, you know, lemon, lemons come from, the lemon essential oil comes from Sicily. It's a beautiful part of the world and it's where the lemon trees are native to and they thrive the best. So we get our lemon from Sicily and it's, it's you know, smell it now, it's so beautiful. It just smells exactly like a lemon when you've cut it open. Uh, and we can use that, uh, in, we can ingest it. So putting a drop in our water in the morning can help to um, help with detoxification, allowing our digestive enzymes to start to um, work and helps with that alkalinity and that, that acidity of our body. So it helps with the balance of that. And I, I love doing that in the morning. The second way I like to use it is um, for cleaning. So it has antimicrobial and antibacterial properties. So we can actually um, use it 30 drops of this in a spray bottle and that's your cleaner and it costs about a dollar five. It's, um, this is a beautiful one. It's like fourteen dollars, and it's two hundred and fifty drops in there, and it just lasts forever. So, lemon bliss balls you can use um, to flavor lemon slice, lemon meringue pie, um, anything with lemon in it. You can use the essential oil. So, if you don't, if you are not blessed with a lemon tree like us. Um, then you can actually really do some beautiful things with this lemon essential oil and it smells amazing it's such amazing quality and um, really I love it for um, windows so anything citrus can get all of that grime off your windscreen um, and the shower screens Damien came to me the other day his job is to clean the shower and Obviously he hadn't done it, like we've had these oils for four years and he said to me, oh, what can I use that's natural to, you know, get rid of that grime off the um, shower screen? And I was like, lemon essential oil. So a little bit of vinegar, lemon essential oil and water and it's just beautiful, it's just gone. So um, I love lemon and, you know, using it as ingesting it is, is really, um, you know, there's not many essential oils on the market that you can ingest. And I would suggest you don't ingest any other essential oils. And that just shows you the quality of um, these, that they're approved by the FDA for ingestion and for use in um, food additives. So Pana Chocolate, which is a beautiful um, vegan chocolate on the market. Oh, it's made in Melbourne. It's incredible. It's my fave. Um, and that is actually flavored by doTERRA essential oils. It's, it's amazing. Um, so on this page, you can see that they have, you know, the diffuser, they have hand wash. Um, that's the toothpaste. This beautiful ice blue rub is um, like a Denka rub. 
shampoo and conditioner. They have a beautiful range of whole food supplements. Um, and then some of the essential oils that you can get. So and you can just have a little squeeze through there. What I would love you to do before I catch up with you um, after this is actually fill out um, this box here. And I'm gonna to talk to you about that so that we can really tailor what is best for you um, and your family. So make sure you fill that out before I, um, I get in contact with you again. Okay, so the next oil that I want to talk about is Easy Air because that's the, um, the other amazing oil that we had a really powerful experience with which kind of made us go, okay, these are way more than just essential oils. So Easy Air is, is nature's VIX. So VIX, when I was starting out on my low tox journey, I was reading all ingredients of all products and VIX, literally the first ingredient in VIX is turpentine oil. Um, second ingredient is petrol. So we are slathering ourselves and our children with this ridiculous petrol and, and um, turpentine oil. I couldn't believe it when I read it, it was crazy. So this Easy Air is like your nat nat nature's fix. So it smells like that. It's so incredible for colds and flus, just opens up the airways. Beautiful for asthma, just really allows you to breathe deeper. Um, hay fever, like I said, Damien um, had hay fever and we rolled it onto his, um, yeah, on his sinuses, through his nose and on the back of his neck. And um, within half an hour, he was, he was, you know, back to normal. And the day before where we didn't use it, he couldn't sleep all night. So it was one of those things where we were like, okay, cool, these are, these are more than just smells. So easy air. So if you want a um, like a Vix type thing, we do have a vapor stick, and it's like a, a Vix stick, um, but it's all low tox. Or you can make your own. So coconut oil um, or shea butter, and then the easy air. Rub it on your chest, and it's just a beautiful natural um, way of reducing toxic load in your kids. So. My sister diffuses that every single night, helps with snoring. Um, I think every house needs this. I think I really do. And, and Damien, that's the one Damien reaches for um, the most because it really helps him to, um, it really helps him with his hay fever. The next one I think every household should have is the On Guard. So have a little smell of that. It's like cinnamon, a wild orange and cardamom, um, rosemary, eucalyptus, clove. It's just, actually it doesn't have cardamom, sorry. It's, um, it smells like Christmas to me. It's beautiful. And what we do with this one is this is our cleaner. So 30 drops of this in um, a spray bottle helps with mold. So when you use bleach, apart from the burning of your chest and your eyes and you have to run out of the house and you would never want your kids to, to go in there after you've, you've done some bleach, um, you know, it just, everything that you put on your skin or you breathe in goes into your body and, it, and it's, we just don't, we just want to reduce that um, load and reduce that effort of the liver to have to detoxify from everything. So On Guard is what I use for my cleaning. I, we don't have a mold problem because we use On Guard. Um, it's just what we use for cleaning. Uh, the battery is just really low. Anyway, hopefully we get through this. So um, Protective Blend is also really amazing for your colds and flus. So when you are sick, this on guard is diffused next to our bed. It's diffused around the house. Um, it's antimicrobial, antibacterial. Um, you just use it for all your cleaning when you're sick. I had a, a beautiful lady at work and her kids were sick all the time. She started rolling this on their feet with coconut oil each day and their ability to, um, you know, to get to school and daycare was significantly improved and, and she was a massive skeptic um, and she just loves them now. She's even trying to get the daycare to stop using Windex and use um, lemon essential oil for their windows instead of Windex, um, which is so amazing because her kids are gonna just thrive from that. 
no, you know, not having that impact on their gut for all of that, uh, all of those years. I'm really um, grateful that she was open to learning and um, now her kids are going to thrive from it. So yeah, On Guard is just one of those ones that I think every family needs in their home. Uh, tea tree is another one. So antiseptic, antibacterial. Again, you can use it for cleaning. Um, ear aches, skin, anything to do with your skin with pimples or um, nits, you know, tea tree, you know, for cleaning. So disinfecting your toothbrush and um, your makeup brushes, things like that. So, you know, anytime that the kids get a you know cut or a bruise or anything like a scrape then tea tree is your is your friend and it doesn't sting so you put it with lavender with some coconut oil you spray it on there and it just you know aids healing um so tea tree i love really really beautiful one um for cleaning okay oregano um have a little smell of it oregano just smells like pizza <laughs> and this is nature's antibiotic. So it's incredible at helping to um, reduce the length of sickness. Damien just grabs it every time that, you know, he's a teacher. So he's around kids all the time. And he, like the Easy Air and the Oregano, um, I mean, he doesn't get sick anywhere near as much now, but when he is sick and he doesn't want to be, Oregano is the first thing to come out and it really nip, nips, it, nips it in the bud. Is that the, the saying? So yeah, oregano is amazing. So you can put a drop in some vegetable soup or some bone broth. You can also, you know, I had a, um, a UTI and that and tea tree with some coconut oil, just rubbing it on my, where my, my, my lower abdomen was so um, supportive and helpful for that infection and you know, we're overusing antibiotics. So if we can reach for nature first, antibiotics are always gonna be there if we need them. But if we can if we can choose nature first, then um, it's, you know, it's a massive win. I haven't used antibiotics in about three years and I'm very, very grateful for, whereas I would have um, really always reached for the antibiotics, but now I know how it affects your gut. I try to avoid that. Um, and you should too. So reaching for nature first, I think is a really good ploy and getting in early and consistent is really key for that. But you can also use it cooking. It's amazing on pizza and pasta um, in a big slow cook, really, really amazing. All right, next is Digestion. So Digestion smells a little bit sam like Sambuca and it is the digestive blend basically. Any digestive discomfort, motion sickness, nausea, um, bloating, gas, anything like that, then this guy is your absolute friend. It just helps that digestive process. It's got ginger, fennel, peppermint, aniseed, all the really powerful herbs that help with digestion, but they're 50 to 70 times more powerful. So what I personally do, which I'm very comfortable with, is dropping a drop under my tongue, but sometimes um, I just drop it on my belly with some coconut oil and rub in an anti uh, into a clockwise direction, and it's so good. It works really quickly, and it's not just me, there's so many people that say that. So any digestive issues, please um, get yourself some digestion, it's amazing. And I would implore you to use that um, now because you've got the samples there. Really start to incorporate these into your life now before you um, get the full bottle because you know now is a really good time to start. Um, Ice Blue is our you know, pain blend. So it's our, it's our nature's Denka Rub. So it's got some beautiful essential oils in there. Really good for pain and discomfort, good for period pain, headaches, um, any joint or muscle soreness, uh, really make, like using, instead of using all the chemicals in the Denka rub, then using the ice blue is your friend. And there's so many amazing athletes that are using that instead now. So it's so great to see so many people actually jumping on board and using nature first. Nature first. How many times have I said that? We should have done a quiz. Frankincense is our last one that I'm gonna go through. 
And so he's the king of all the oils. They collect him from Somalia. Um, they score the tree or, or damage the tree and the sap that comes out to um, regenerate the tree is actually the frankincense. So you're getting literally the immune system of the plant, like the protection, the healing of the plant. It's so amazing. So frankincense is good for everything. So you don't have to, like that's your all rounder. Um, it's antimicrobial, antibacterial. It's so calming on the nervous system. Really good for anything like anxious feelings, low mood, um, really amazing for meditation to get in really deep and just calming. Um, I have some friends that uh, use it for PTSD because it just feels like a big warm hug when they're actually using it. So um, lots and lots of research on frankincense for memory, for Alzheimer's, for dementia, anything to do with the brain, um, frankincense is your friend. So um, really, really beautiful essential oil. So they're the oils I, I've given you to try. I also gave you um, some shampoo and conditioner, which is low tox. I gave you some of the deep, uh, the deep blue or ice blue rub uh, and some toothpaste. So I'd love for you to really get in and try all of those and um, give it a go. I will catch up with you in um, a few days because I really want you to just just to use them like it's really really important for you to actually use them um, that's where you start to understand how to use them and and you know over time my ability to use them every day has developed I was using them for two years before I started sharing um, which I love I'm so grateful for this part of my my life and but yeah I I just slowly started building my um, my collection and I started learning more and more about them and so you don't need to learn everything straight away um, you have a little booklet there for you so just make sure that you are starting to use them this week and I'd love to um, chat to you next week and we can um, delve deeper into what your wellness goals are and to see what would suit you best so that's just a little taster of what they are. And um, yeah, I'll contact you soon. If you have any questions, make sure you um, reach out to me. And yeah, I just want to say one more time, switching to mother nature is going to be something that will really impact your life um, and your family's life for the better. And I've just seen my health and my husband's health just improve significantly as well as my, the rest of my family. So um, yeah, I think it's just important to, to start to become aware of what we're putting on our bodies and, and essential oils are a really beautiful and easy part of reducing that toxic load. So I will talk to you soon and have a beautiful day.